friends. I read something this week about parenting, about raising children, and using the idea of thinking about preparing them to be a blessing in the future, about raising them and teaching them things so that they, as grown-ups, can be a blessing to their future family, future spouse, future community. And I thought it was kind of an interesting idea because sometimes teaching kids to do things can be hard. And I think we sometimes have the idea that we're teaching them so that they can be helpful to us right now. If the kids can learn to do the dishes, unload the dishwasher, that'll take something off of me. But sometimes teaching them to do those tasks takes so much time and can be frustrating. And we kind of want to say, never mind, I'll just do it myself. But we know that we need to teach them to be independent humans who are going to be able to live on their own and do these things. And so we know it's important. But I thought changing that mindset to preparing them to be a blessing, preparing them to be people who can be in their community and help others, teaching them now to do the dishes so that when they go to someone's house and have a meal, that they can be actually helpful and clean up after and know that that's something they have the skills to do and know that that's something that's important to do, a way to show love back to someone who has cooked them a meal. Teaching them to bake brownies so that when there's someone in their community who has had a new baby, an illness, just because it's Tuesday, that they know they have that skill to love others well. Teaching kids to cook and bake is generally not easy. It's messy and it's time consuming. It takes so much longer to show a child how to crack and scramble eggs than to just do it yourself. But maybe thinking about how knowing that they can do this, how they will be able to serve with love someone else, that they will be able to watch you help prepare a meal for someone, or even not that, recognizing how we are able to see there's a need. There's a new, a new mom, a new family in town, someone who's struggling with illness, divorce, whatever it might be, a death in the family, and seeing how we react to that. That there are times when I can make a meal and bring all of the things and it is all home cooked and it is done with love. And there are weeks that that is just not possible. And so dropping off cookies on a porch and just texting and saying, they're there, love you. That there are simple ways that we can show how much we love and care for others and that our children can watch that so that they know that they have those skills as they get bigger to be able to love and serve others the same way. It's not always going to make the, the baking easier with little ones. There is still going to be flour on the ceiling and cinnamon between your toes that you don't know how it got there. But maybe knowing that they will have these skills to be able to love others and then that will pass on. And so this legacy of love can continue. Might make it a little easier. Have a good week, friends.